you a couple of tips for doing this successfully. First, it can be a really good idea to decide beforehand what part of the day you're going to practice your habit or take the steps you decided to take. When you decide beforehand, when you make a plan, like I'm gonna do it in the morning or I'm gonna do it before bed, then you often find that your motivation to do it is a lot higher. There's a concrete plan up in your head. Secondly, at least in the beginning, make your steps small and input-based, meaning that they can be accomplished with just an input of time or effort instead of a specific outcome. So for example, if your goal is to write a novel, then a beginning step that's probably gonna be pretty difficult to accomplish each day is write an entire chapter. But something that's definitely doable is write 100 words or even 500 words. That brings us to the fourth step in the process, which is this. Don't wait for the perfect time to start. Instead just get started now. Even if there's a constraint, just start now. Realize that the time at which you get the idea or the motivation to do something is the time where you're going to be the most excited to get started. So even if you're going on vacation in two days from now or you have a bunch of homework to do, if you can carve out the time to do those beginning steps, then start right now.